What we're going to have a look at now is if things don't quite work out as we'd expect them to. And one of the most common ways that we tend to see that is parts not sticking to the platform as we would expect. Now, first thing we want to be doing is checking that the machine set up properly. Now that means, have we got the calibration correct? If we don't, let's just run through a quick calibration wizard. And again, you can see that in one of the links to the videos that we've got on here. The other thing we can also do is make sure that the platform's clean. Okay, if we get dust, oil, grease, fingerprints, anything like that on there, that can cause us some problems in terms of adhesion. So it's making sure we've got the glass clean. And the last thing that we want to be making sure in terms of the setup is that we have the sticker on the platform, sticker side up. Okay, if all three of those things are correct, then it might be time that we need to take some additional measures. Okay, but first protocol is always those three. So after we've got all three of those things checked off and we know that we're happy with the calibration, the platform's clean and the sticker side up, then we might have to look at adding an ad adhesive. Now, in the box, you get the Yoohoo stick. Now, you can use this to help your print stick down, but it, sometimes it can cause us a few more problems. Okay, number one, it's, obviously it's very sticky, so things can attract to that, so like dust, and it also adds quite a thick layer, so in terms of the calibration, it could also compound a bit of an issue there. So what you can find as a nice, low-cost alternative to this is hairspray. Now, the one thing you want to be aware of when you're working with hairspray is if you take any kind of aerosol adhesive to the machine, always make sure you remove the glass plate first, spray it on and let it set, and then apply it back into the machine. That way we're not going to get hairspray or any kind of adhesive into the fans or any of the moving parts, and that can cause, again, premature wear. What we can also find is that if the different materials that we're working with, not just a standard off-the-shelf PLA, sometimes a 3D printing specific adhesive might be needed. Okay, so we have products such as Demafix and Magigoo, which are both available from Create Education or 3D GBIRE. And what these can do is heat activate to help the part stick down, but also as the heat comes out of the platform, it also acts as a, as a release agent too. So these could be the next step if hairspray or the glue stick isn't enough to help your print stick down. So let's say that we tried all the above and we're still having some small issues with parts sticking down to the platform. Now the good news is we've still got another trick up the sleeve. We can go to our slicing software, Cura, and what we can do is we can add in extra levels of adhesion within there. Okay, the two that we tend to go to beyond the skirt would be the brim or the raft. Okay, so this here is a brim. As you can see, it's a very thin addition to the first layer. What it does, it just increases that surface area. So if there is any kind of warping or delamination from the platform, it tends to happen on the brim, not on the model itself. Okay. The best way to describe a brim is if you imagine a roll of sellotape and the cardboard spilled inside, that is the model, and the sellotape itself contacts into the cardboard is the brim. Okay, So it peels away really nicely, but it's a really, really thin layer to help us in our build plate adhesion. The next level up from that is a raft. Okay, You can see it's much thicker, much harder, so it's less likely to warp, and also it's got quite a nice surface area around the outside, which is massively going to help the build plate adhesion. The best way to describe that is if you imagine building a, a garage out of Lego bricks, that's the base that we're going to need to start to put the bricks down on. Okay? If we're getting beyond all of those different kind of things and we're still not getting any parts sticking down, it's definitely time to reach out to the support team and we can help you further and make sure we can get your prints being successful straight out of the gate.